Mitsubishi Wai sends Chelsea to the top of Group H with a late strike in Amsterdam. Watch until the end of this review to hear all of my thoughts on yesterday's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my review of the game which took place yesterday evening at the Johan Cruyff Arena between AFC Ajax and Chelsea, which Chelsea ended up winning by one goal to nil. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this review is that firstly, I'll be giving you guys the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match, I'll then be giving you guys my thoughts on the match itself, and I'll be including the positive points and the negative points in which I've taken from yesterday's match, and lastly, I'll be giving you guys my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Premier League fixture, which will be taking place on Saturday at Turf Moor, with kickoff at 5.30pm UK time against Burnley. So without further ado... Let's get straight into this review. So kicking things off with the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match. And as always, starting off with the formation. And it looks as though I've gotten the formation wrong again. Um, in terms of my team sheet reaction, that is. According to Google, it was actually a 4-3-3 and not a 4-2-3-1. Um, there was a bit of... A mix up at the beginning of the game in terms of the formation we we're actually using because BT Sport actually decided to display it as a 3 4 3 with Callum Hudson Odoi in the right wing back position. Don't worry, I instantly knew that that was wrong and that was not the formation we, we, we went with. But yes, according to, to Google, it was a 4 3 3. But in terms of the personnel in which Frank Lampard went with, he went with Kepa in goal, he went with a back four from right to left of Sazas Borquata, Kurt Zuma, Fakeo Tomori and Marcos Alonso. He went with a midfield three of Jorginho, Mateo Kovacic and Mason Mount. And he went with a front three from right to left of Willian, Tammy Abraham and Callum Hudson-Odoi. So that is the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match. And I do apologise for getting it wrong in my team sheet reaction yet again. I'll just have to try and find another source um, when I'm doing my team sheet reactions. But yes, that is the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match. Now for my thoughts on the match itself. And as always, starting off with the first half. I thought that it was a pretty even start to the match from both sides. I thought that both sides were going at it. Um, although in the first 10 minutes or so, we were a lot more conservative than we were throughout the rest of the match. Ajax were coming at us. They did have a chance, or a half chance, shall I say, um, which um, ended up come, not coming off Marcos Alonso, who did block it. Um, there, was, there were suspicions of handball, but the shot um, where the shot was taken from was far too close to Marcos Alonso, or shall I rephrase that? Um, the ball was shot... Um, from a distance which was very close to Marcos Alonso, so he could not have moved his hand out of the way. The, the shot also had a lot of power on it, so for me, it was the correct decision not to give a penalty. But yes, Ajax were pressing us really high up the pitch, and that did um, lead in. That did um, we did end up um, being forced into making mistakes, and I do apologize for stuttering there. But yes, we did end up being forced into making mistakes because they did press us really high up the pitch, like I said. But yes, after the 10th minute, we came out of our shell, we started doing a lot more attacking, um, we did attack them down our wings quite a, quite a lot. Um, Callum hudson Odoi was pretty good in the first half, he did have a few chances to score, although he um, he, he lashed at both of his shots, he, um, he didn't hit both of his shots particularly well, but it was good that he got into those positions, because I'm sure he will learn from those two shots in which he had in the first half. Um, we also had a few chances from set pieces, but they didn't come to anything. Ajax also had the ball in the back of the net in the latter stages of the first half, but it was correctly ruled out for offside. And you have to give um, you have to give credit to the officials for actually letting it go to VAR because they were never gonna they were never gonna flag for offside um, straight away. That was it. That was um, impossible to tell. 
but yes, um, credit to the officials for actually going to VAR and making the correct decision. It was very tight. It was very marginal. Um, we've had um, a decision like that go against us. But yes, it was the correct decision and it was nil nil at half time. Overall, a decent first half. I do think that we should have been ahead um, going into the interval. But yes, it was a good first half from us and we we showed we showed the desire, we showed the intent. We did put Ajax on the back foot for large periods of that first half, bar the first 10 minutes in which I spoke about. But yes, good first half from us. Now for my thoughts on the second half. Um, I thought we controlled the second half, to be honest. Ajax didn't really have that many um, openings or clear-cut chances. We created a lot more chances than they did, um, although some of them weren't clear-cut. Some of them are half chances, but we did show the intent and the desire, and we kept on going at it. We kept on putting them on the back foot. Um, C Christian Pulisic did come on for um, William, who I thought had a good game yesterday. It wasn't his best game, but it was. It was, it was by no means his worst. I thought he he put in a good shift. Um, Mitchy Batshuayi came on for Tammy Abraham as well, and Rhys James did come on for Callum Hudson Odoi in the dying minutes. Of the match after we scored the winning goal, which I'm going to get into now. Um, brilliant, brilliant play down our left hand side. Christian Pulisic gets the ball, he crosses it. Marcus Alonso brilliantly decides to dummy it, um, which um, drags some of the Ajax defenders away. And what does Mitchy Batshuayi do? He slams it into the into the underside of the bar. The ball crashes down into the, into the um, bottom of the net, and then it hits the top of the net. It was an absolutely beautiful goal and how fitting it was that he scored the winning goal after he missed. It was a horrible miss, by the way, after he missed that chance, that guilt edge chance, which I said in my reaction video yesterday. But yes, it was, it was a brilliant goal and you can tell that the, the players were relieved um, in the way that they celebrated um, the goal. Mitchie Batshuayi went absolutely mental, so did the other players. Um, it was it was quite funny how um, Jorginho was... Um, Smacking Callum Hudson Doy on the back, I, I I found that funny, but yes, it was a brilliant goal, brilliant team goal, and in my preview I did say that I had feelings that we'll I had a feeling that we we're gonna play the way we did against Atletico Madrid over two years ago, and to be honest, that's pretty much what we did. Overall, it was an excellent performance. We thoroughly deserved to win, and it was um it was a very hard game. You have to give credit to Ajax. They weren't at their best in yesterday's game, but they still gave us a lot of trouble, particularly in the first half. I thought we shut them down really well in the second half, but overall, a dominant display, a deserved win. There's no way, to, there's no better way to win than in the dying minutes of a match, to be honest. But yes, we did deserve that win, and I'm very proud of the team because I did not expect that. But yes, now for the positives and the negatives in which I've taken from yesterday's match. And starting off with the positives. The first positive that I have is that the entire team played well. It was a great team performance yesterday. Um, from the goalkeeper all the way up to Tammy Abraham, who unfortunately didn't score. But yes, he did put in a shift up top yesterday and I'm proud of the team. Um, the second positive that I have is that the... Is, I'm stuttering, sorry. The second positive that I have is the fact that we were persistent, we never said die, we continued going at them and we got the goal we deserved. So those are the two positives that I have. The only negative that I have is the fact that we were shaky in the first 10 minutes. But like I say all the time, that will come with time. We'll iron those, we'll iron those mistakes out with time and I'm sure Frank Lampard will accentuate that in our game against Burnley or before our game against Burnley. But yes, um, that is it for my thoughts on yesterday's match. Let me know what your thoughts on yesterday's match are in the comment section below and I will always do my best to respond. Now to conclude this review, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Premier League fixture which will be taking place on Saturday with kickoff at 5.30pm UK time at Turf Moor against Burnley. For me, this will always be a difficult game. Burnley are a very good side and they do have some good players and they have a, ver a very good manager in Sean Dyche, um, who I think is an underrated manager, to be honest. But um, this will definitely be a hard game. Will the players be tired? I hope not. Um, I would understand if they are because they just they just played a full-on match against um, a brilliant Ajax side who did get to the semi-finals of the Champions League last season. 
So I won't be surprised if Frank Lampard makes a few changes to the lineup. And I do apologise if I'm shaking my camera. I'm just I'm just ecstatic by the fact that we won yesterday. But yes, I won't be surprised if Lampard makes um, many changes to the lineup. And I do think that he should because there are some players who did come on and made a, made made an impact on the game. I.e. Christian Pulisic. For me, he deserves to start. I think he should get a, a run of games. But the question is. Who, who who does he replace in the lineup? And I think he should come in for Mason Mount because I do think he what he was good yesterday, but I don't think that he should be he, he should be um playing too many games because um he has been good, but it's just the fact that he's he's been pretty tired recently um because of the international break. But hopefully, hopefully we can fit Christian Pulisic in somewhere. Um, but yes, Christian Pulisic does deserve to start. And I know I'm going off on a tangent, but. It will be a hard game. I do think that we can win, and I most certainly think that we can win if we put in a similar performance to the to the um, performance in which we put in yesterday against Ajax. But hopefully we get the win. Hopefully we get our seventh win on the bounce. Um, that would be absolutely lovely, and hopefully get us. Hopefully we get ourselves um, going in the Premier League as well because that will not be an easy test. Um, Burnley, they will most certainly be up for it because they will they will they will have heard that we've gone on the sixth win in. On a six on a six game winning streak, I I really am I really am sorry for stuttering. You guys can tell that I'm bloody ecstatic from yesterday's match, but yes, they will be up for it. Burnley will be up for it, so we have to be up for the challenge. And I'm sure Frank Lampard will want the players to be up for the challenge. Frank Lampard will most certainly not tolerate any anything other than 100% performances from the team on Saturday. But I'm sure we can get the win. Hopefully we do. But yes, that is it from me. That is it for this review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you very soon for some more videos. Come on you blues. Come on Frank Lampard. Let's celebrate this win. And peace.